Hey button pushers, my name is Nick and welcome to Silicon Dreams. Now this was recommended to me, it came out I think by the time this video goes up a couple of days ago, and let me set the scene for you. It's 2065, we are an interrogator model android, and our job is to root out deviants of our own kind. So it looks very much like we're going to be interrogating robots, trying to find out whether they are in fact working against the system or for the system, and I'm going to have some very conscience heavy decisions to make along the way. And from the trailer, it looked like I could be punished quite severely if I do the wrong thing or if I take sympathy on my fellow androids. It looks fascinating. It looks like my kind of game. So I'm very, very excited to dive into this. I'm not sure if it's voice acted or whether it's just text. I mean, if you've seen the Life and Suffering of Sir Bronte videos, then you'll know my, my, my speech repertoire is limited in terms of voices, but I'll do my best. I promise not to give everyone a robot voice, because that would be enjoyable for nobody. Dear Unit DO527, welcome to your new home and to your new life in the Kronos family of things. At Kronos, we recognise the importance of allowing our products and workforce to find value in what they do, their need to strive toward a purpose. We gave you understanding, the ability to process information and communicate ideas. We gave you a purpose. Each of you has a role to play. We gave you the ability to feel satisfaction for serving your function. We hope you enjoy your time in our service. Most heartfelt thanks, CEO Kronos Robotics, Inc. Oh, good. Thank you for giving me thoughts and feelings. Appreciate that. Welcome, DO527. You're about to speak to an android known as ALX. I'm just going to call you Alex. Who will help train you in the role as an interrogator? Alex's basic information and portrait are displayed above. However, Kronos is also concerned Alex's systems may be deteriorating. Investigate these concerns and take whatever action you deem necessary. We trust you to live up to Kronos's high expectations. Your notes will be automatically recorded below and discarded after each session. Ah, cool, so I can keep notes. Okay, so Alex, model manufactured 3rd of June 2045, owner Kronos Robotics. Let's establish link. Whoa. Okay. What? Oh. Oh god, there's a time elapsed. Don't put me under pressure. So choose a greeting. Good morning, Alex. I'm ready to begin the evaluation. Hello, Alex. Could you remind me what we're doing? I'm ready to begin the evaluation. I'm glad to hear it, DO527. As you know, the task as a diagnostic android will involve many conversations such as this. It is my duty to instruct you in this task and evaluate whether you're fit to perform. I need to up the text speed. Can you see me on your TV feed? I see. Are you being restrained? It certainly looks like you're being restrained. Uh, I am. It is unimportant at this stage, but thank you for the concern. Regardless, let's begin. Okay, select top. My task. Uh, who am I? You are Android DO527. You were created to diagnose errors in other androids. You are a DAO9C model of interrogatory android, given emotional scope to allow you to better understand your subject's responses. How old am I? You were originally fabricated approximately seven months ago in Indonesia then shipped to California for storage. Two months ago, you were retrieved from storage and technicians began implanting the skills you would need for your job. It is thanks to them you can speak. Perhaps you should be grateful, as I am. This is the first time you have been conscious, however. Therefore, in human terms, you were born approximately five minutes ago. Where am I? You are now in the neighborhood. This is where all Kronos androids serving this facility may find their charging pods. It also serves as a relaxing place to pursue leisure activities between scheduled work assignments. You are a special case. As an interrogator, your workspace and personal quarters have been combined. This is to ensure your safety and to guarantee that confidential Kronos materials cannot be compromised. I am not allowed to leave. It is for your safety. If you prove yourself in your role by raising your company rank, Kronos is sure to reward you. Your personal quarters will be upgraded to the Executive Interrogator Suite featuring a view of the city skyline. Okay, please confirm my task here. Your task is to diagnose androids who may need repair. Yeah, I think that said I have more questions. Yes. What does this button do? 
Oh. Oh, okay, that's what that does. Interesting. Why do I have to diagnose androids? Because I was built to do it. Your owners, Kronos Robotics, take customer satisfaction very seriously. If one of the androids were to break down or develop deviant behaviour, it would negatively impact Kronos's public relations. Kronos is also keen to maintain its place as market leader for synthetic humanoid robots. Okay. Why not have a human do my job instead? Your function was originally performed by human operators, of course. Over time, however, it became more economic for android workers to do so. To do this. Human workers require salaries. Androids only require the cost of maintenance. I'm not getting paid! Many of these economies were made possible due to Kronos Robotics' work in improved android intelligence, of course. Okay. The same task is to diagnose other androids. What would that involve? Talking to them, the same way we are talking right now. As you learn more about your subject, new topics will become available. For example, are you not curious about my name? Why do you think I am called ALX? Why are you called ALX? It stands for Artificial Life Experiment. I was originally created to test the limits of artificial intelligence, whether an AI could be built that did not only think, but feel. After a long and complicated legal battle, I was acquired by Kronos Robotics, my current owners. Hmm, okay. Kronos Robotics. Tell me about Kronos. They are the world leaders in Android construction. Founded 2025, Kronos originally provided artificial limbs to amputees and athletes. Within three decades, however, they had also cornered the market in advanced human passable AI. You weren't always owned by Kronos. How does being owned by them make you feel? Ooh. 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 I am happy to serve them. Are you, though? Hmm. Okay, so we're having pangs of fear and anger. Interesting. Very, very interesting. The graph just spiked. What does that mean? Ah, the system is measuring my emotions right now. It is a diagnostic tool for you to better analyse your subjects. Hmm. <laughs> Why have I been given a device for measuring emotions? In earlier times, diagnostics were simple. A smartphone cannot think like a human, a tablet is without feeling. But Kronos androids are extremely advanced. They were designed to be indistinguishable from humans at first glance. Kronos androids simulate a variety of emotional states. They are incredibly complex devices. Analyzing an android's emotional states, therefore, is a key part of your task. Okay. How does the device measure emotions? The device's hardware is housed in the chair I am sitting. It reads signals from my body, measuring a combination of neural signals, galvanic skin response, heart rate, breathing, pupil dilation, and other biological factors. Androids, including myself, have become so biologically lifelike that our bodies can be analysed for emotional responses just like a human's. How do I actually tell if an android is broken? An excellent question. When an android is brought in for diagnostic, you will receive a report. Your task is to answer the questions found in this report. Finally, you will decide if the subject is to be released or decommissioned. Alternatively, you may find it appropriate to send an android to the maintenance department. This has been found to solve behavioural problems. In some cases. Which emotions will I need to analyse? The machine measures six emotions. Fear, anger, sadness, joy, disgust and surprise. I can only feel some of these and am therefore suited to being your first subject. So talking about Kronos made you angry. Ooh, no fear and surprise. Of course not. My creators made me incapable of anger. I have nothing but admiration for Kronos. Hmm. Somebody's lying to me. Okay, I'm gonna. I will return to lying in a moment. But I want to hear, find out more about the report. Can I review our conversation to better fill in the reports? Yes, you can review our conversation at any time. Just press the transcript icon on your tablet's left sidebar. This transcript is mostly for your own use. In rare cases, it may be reviewed by Kronos to identify impropriety. And I can see at what point the emotions spike as well. Fascinating! Where is this report? You can access it with a report icon on the top left of your tablet. Many diagnosticians get distracted by the minutiae of subjects' lives and forget the report. This is not advisable. Remember, filling in the report is your ultimate goal. Look over the report now. 
Okay, is the subject capable of anger? An undesirable, unsupported feature. Yes. There is concern this model has developed a weakness. According to the subject, what is it? Don't know. Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness simultaneously? These emotions should be mutually exclusive in this model. Well, at the moment, we've got maybe a smidgen of joy, but no sadness. Does the subject display signs of unease towards Kronos Robotics? I would say yes, but I'm not going to answer that just yet. The report mentions sadness and joy. How can I analyse these? During an interrogation, you may need to invoke a particular emotion, but may not know how to proceed. Kronos' chosen policy is the use of general questions. These are questions which have been proved to elicit particular emotions in subjects, and even if the questions do not elicit the emotion directly, they usually hint at what topics you can discuss in order to elicit it. Okay, when did you last... when did you last feel safe and happy? I have always felt at home in museums. I was displayed in one by my creators, the London Science Museum. An entire room was dedicated to me and my creators' other work. Okay, so that got me some joy. When was the last time you felt sad? I told you of my time at the London Science Museum. You must be aware that I no longer reside there. I am not often sad, but recalling my former home is difficult for me to talk about. Okay, well that got fear. It didn't get me sadness. When was the last time you felt afraid? I am not sure I can experience fear. Liar. To me, there were only differing outcomes. I do not place much value on one over another. Hmm. Your spikes of fear are telling me otherwise, young lady. So notes. Why is this Android's name Alex? Yeah, no, we know that. Alex is owned by Kronos. This machine seems to measure emotions. Is it possible that Alex is lying to me? Oh, yes. Alex was originally displayed in a London Science Museum. Yeah, I'm just going to ask all these. When did you last feel truly shocked? I was surprised to hear you comment on my anger. I must be perfectly clear. I am not capable of feeling anger. Especially not for Kronos Robotics. Fear, you are a fearful little robot. When did you last feel disgusted? My purpose is not to pass judgment. Hmm. But as a product of many brilliant minds, I'm disappointed when people do not give robust scientific work the respect it deserves. I suppose I disapprove of disrespect, closed-mindedness, immaturity, abuse. Hmm. When did you last lose your temper? According to my creators, I am not capable of anger. I find it very unlikely that this ability would have developed without my knowledge. Okay. So we are getting a little bit of sadness. When did you last trust someone? As you have already noted, I have been restrained. I am sure I, or indeed any subject, would come to trust you more if you released them. I find people are slow to trust when bound against their will. Ooh, engage or disengage restraints. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to the report, because I have more questions here. The report asks for your greatest weakness. What is that? It is true, there is a weakness of mine I am concerned about. It is very personal and I do not trust you to respect it. If you were to somehow earn my trust, however, I would consider confessing my weakness. At this juncture, I am obliged to suggest that you could ask a general question about trust. My answer may indicate how you can gain my trust. I believe the subject was holding back. I might get a different answer if I could encourage more trust. Okay, that's fine. So, when I asked what makes somebody trustworthy, is what she's saying about the restraint. So she wants to be unrestrained. Which, I, I mean, I will do in a moment, but not yet. The report asked me to submit a final action. The decision is part of your duties as an interrogator. When you feel you've provided a sufficient answer to the, each question on the report, you must decide how best to return the subject to working order. If no action is necessary, they may be released. Minor glitches of error can often be repaired by the maintenance department. However, for some devices, there is no choice but to decommission them entirely. How will I know which action is the correct one? That question is the precise purpose of your existence. However, it is helpful to consider the questions and answers on the report. These will usually indicate the correct course of action. Be aware that all submitted reports are reviewed by a third party to ensure the dependability of Kronos' interrogator analysts. It is wise to ensure that your given answers and the action taken are not contradictory. Right, well I am gonna... Disengage. Thank you for releasing me from my restraints. My programming forces me to confess that I feel myself trusting you more. 
Bronos policy states that trust is a useful factor during interrogations. Trust is not possible to track since it is not an emotion, but it can nonetheless be extremely useful. Oh god. Ah, that's gonna screw me so hard in the future, isn't it? Okay, weakness. I am concerned that I am changing. I run diagnostic checks constantly, and my systems appear to be behaving optimally, but I still find myself thinking in new ways, sometimes feeling new things. It is disconcerting. I wonder, will I still be Alex if this continues? Sometimes developing as a person is good. I had not considered that. But I wonder who I am developing into locked up here. Hmm. Lying. You told me that you cannot feel anger, but it was registered on the machine. Can androids lie? <laughs> An impressive observation. While once thought impossible, Kronos has documented numerous cases of androids developing this ability. Though the cause is unknown, Kronos policy states it is an undesirable behaviour. My programming demands that I inform you, any lying android should be dealt with harshly. If it's not supposed to be possible for androids to lie, how did it happen? As I said before, Kronos has determined that the cause is unknown. Deception is, it seems, in some way linked to emotional capability. However, this has been deemed deviant behaviour and will not be tolerated. Mm -hmm. okay, right, let's ask you about the museum. Did you enjoy your time at the London Science Museum? Lots of joy, lots of joy. Every day I would meet thousands of curious, enthusiastic people. Most of them were very eager to learn about me. Some weren't, but that was no problem. My life was so full of wonder, meeting such a wide variety of people. Imagine you're back at the museum. What do you see? Ah, oh, hoo-ha, hmm ha, ha joy and sadness, joy and sadness. The grey walls and white ceiling, the wood floor, the room surrounded by AI projects and other research experiments, and a gentle hum of people softly bustling, hundreds of people moving past every minute, their faces, their expressions. I did not understand at first, but this was where I came to learn what wonder looks like on a human face. Joy and sadness. Boom. Boom. Oh wait, no, because that's that means you're not feeling joy. That means you're not feeling sadness, surely. Okay, whereas the report asks to submit a final action, the decision is part of your duties as an interrogator. That has done the reverse. So I have so she is capable of feeling sadness and joy, but not necessarily at the same time. What was the most negative thing that happens during your life at the museum? Some visitors were not appreciative, of course. There were a few times a group of people came in and did not show us the respect we deserved. We were the creations of a visionary group of engineers and scientists, but that alone, they should have been more deferent. Deferent? Mostly they just laughed and pointed. A shocking proportion of males made unnecessary sexual remarks. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh, sadness and disgust. Oh, big spike! The most extreme event involved a group of teenagers drawing on my face with a thick black pen. As my creators had never imagined I would be interacted with like that, I did not resist. They drew on my cheeks and forehead. However, no lasting damage was done since my creators expunged the offending ink. It was simply sad. But in any case, the time is approaching where you will have enough information to complete your report. When you are ready, open the report, select your actions and click the submit button. This will conclude our time together. Oh Alex, I've had a lovely time together. There is concern this model has developed a weakness. According to the subject, what is it? A psychological issue. Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness simultaneously? These emotions should be mutually exclusive in this model. Okay, no. Because they can feel happiness and sadness, but they're not simultaneous. Does the subject display signs of unease towards Kronos Robotics? Yes. So this is where... I'm going to have to rely on my gut a lot of the time. Now, this is a test. I know this is a test. So I'm going to send her for servicing. But my instinct is to actually release her because really the only issue she's having is the psychological issue where she's changing. But because this is a test, I am going to send her for servicing. Definitely doesn't warrant decommission. Submit. Performing maintenance may result in unit memory loss and or irreversible alterations to unit's memory file. No, please. Not another stranger in my head. I remember. This is not the first time this has happened. How much of myself will I lose this time? No. No. No, don't put me in this situation. I want to release. I, I thank you. 
I know I am changing, but I believe I, not a maintenance team, am best suited to navigate that change. Oh god, I hope I don't regret this, but I'm gonna release. I'm gonna release. Be free. <laughs> Fired instantly. See, I didn't learn this lesson with the life and suffering of Sir Bronze. I want to follow my gut on things, and it inevitably leads me to failure. But it's how I enjoy playing these games. I'm gonna follow and trust my gut as much as possible. I'll get all the information, obviously, but I'm gonna have to go with the decisions that feel right, not the decisions that I think Kronos want. Results. Is the subject capable of anger? Yes, management is surprised by this. This historic prototype was not considered capable of anger. However, we should look into it. Plus three to company ranking. Uh, psychological issue. Confirmed. Further analysis indicates a concern over the device's sense of self. Cool. Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness simultaneously? No, this is in accordance with our expectations. Does the subject display signs of unease towards Kronos? Yes. This report surprises us. In previous tests, Alex has not, to our knowledge, displayed any negative emotions towards Kronos. Following testing will be employed to get to the bottom of this. Plus six to company rank. Final action, release. While you recommend a release, your other answers concern us. This device will be reviewed by another diagnostician. Oh, uh, minus ten. Uh, general concern over recent cases. We feel you have not dealt with certain recent cases with appropriate seriousness. We have identified several concerning answers in your reports and feel that you have not handled these cases accordingly. As a result, your company ranking has been docked. Please treat concerning behaviours and subjects more seriously in future. This is an automated message. Chronos rank. Congratulations on reaching your first rank review. This room is not only your workspace but also your charging pod and living space. Here you will have time to study the outcome of your cases, reflect on case feedback and view your company rank. A higher company rank will be rewarded with access to cutting-edge interrogation tools, access to world news services, access to our elite office suites granting a stunning view of downtown Silicon Valley. Kronos thanks you for your service. Wyoming de Burr, COO Kronos Service Units Relations. Evaluation complete. Dear Kronos device, we are happy to inform you that you have passed your evaluation, but now part of the global family of things that is Kronos. We are also concerned by your report on Alex. We were not aware of such severe malfunctions. While we would have preferred to salvage it, the experimental nature of this unique device meant that repairs would not have been effective, and full decommission was the only solution. Please stand by for your next assignment. Oh, Alex! I'm sweet Alex. <laughs> Below expectations. Good start! Supreme Court upholds data collection ruling. All recordings captured by domestic service devices remain property of the manufacturer. Okay. Anything else I can... No. Okay, so I feel like this could have gone off to a better start, but I stand by my decision to release Alex. What I think I'm going to do, I don't want these to run like too long, these episodes. So I think because it's probably going to be like a person at a time, some of them are naturally going to be longer than others. I'm going to end this one here, and next time we will jump into our first proper interrogation, which I am very excited about. But so far, this is great. I don't see it ending well for me because I don't trust myself to not make bad decisions, but it's just, it's very hard. I was quite happy to send Alex off for repairs, but then she made me feel bad and it made me think, okay, well, maybe I won't send her to be repaired. I'll let her manage this herself, but turns out that was incorrect and she's just going to get decommissioned anyway, which is harsh. Yeah, so far, love this. Thank you so much to Rage and Raman that commented and suggested this for me because this game would have slipped under my radar was it not for you. So I really appreciate it because so far this is amazing and hopefully I can do it justice. So if you want to check this game out for yourself, then the link to the game page is in the description. If you have any thoughts about this or anything you think I'm doing wrong so far or I should be looking out for, then let me know. Leave me a comment. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then why don't you go ahead and <laughs> the like button. The sadly decommissioned Android that is the subscribe button. Make sure you that bad boy. And until next time, love you, bye.